Normally I have sheep following me. Today I have a wood chipping apparatus following me. <laughs> Having a big tree taken down that's on the road that's dead. Next to the road that's dead. <laughs> Look at that. I'm not used to machines following me. Machines coming in. So there's a dead tree. I don't know if you can see it just right there, down by the road. So there we go. He's going to follow my pickup truck tracks. We went that way yesterday, my father and nephews and nieces and my brother, to show them the dead tree. So that's the wood chipper. So we're gonna see, save all our wood chip and return it to the soil and use it for bedding in the winter. Isn't that right? Okay, I'm gonna get the sheep in here because the other tree surgeons are gonna come along the bottom of the field. So the yews are all here and the other tree surgeon is down at the bottom there. And he's gonna close that gate and then the sheep are gonna go in this field. So I've got to close this gate before they finish their nibbles. See, he's closing that gate down below. Okay. Oh. This is really a two-handed job and I'm doing it with one because I'm videoing. Okay, I'm gonna stop videoing. And of course, not everybody is here. Oh, you itchy bum. You got a little bit of fly strike, didn't you? Okay, come on. Come on, girls! There's some yo's calling over there. Come on, out you go, go on. Come on, I need you into the middle field. Because I don't need the tree surgeons messing with you guys. Go on. Oh, hit my Wellington boot. Kicked my leg. Go on, girls. Go on. Okay, that's one lot. Now I gotta get the ones that are calling in there. The magic bucket is empty. Not so genius.
There we go. Okay. The waifs and strays. I better tie this up secure because when I open that gate, they're going to come in to get those guys out. It's always something, isn't it? Hopefully that's all the sheep so far. Okay, ladies. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on. Go on. Go on. Come on. Now, there we go. They're gonna have, they left here yesterday, but they're only back in for today. And tomorrow they, uh, uh, sorry, later today, they'll go back into that field after the uh, tree surgeons are done. Did you get it? Yeah. Oh, Adam got a branch. <laughs> Adam. <clears throat> what this tree died this spring basically yeah. didn't it yeah, yeah. and w you came and looked at it and what did you conclude um i think from the the lie of the land here um it, there looks to have been quite a lot of water pooling around uh its base yeah um we had a very wet spring a very wet spring um and chestnuts they don't like it too dry and they don't like it too wet so they're very picky. Yeah, very picky, yeah. Um, and unfortunately, I think, coupled with the bleeding canker. Um, bleeding canker, which is a kind of... Um, it's a bacterial dysfunction of the cambium layer of the tree. So and the cambium layer is? Is the uh, inside of the bark that transports all the nutrients. Yes. Yeah, it's the protection layer, yeah. Basically. Yeah. But it's a dysfunction in that, which is like... A dysfunction of our skin. Yeah, so it's as if we've got a disease between our skin and our uh, our muscles yeah, and flesh, yeah, our yeah, flesh, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'd say, like, a lot of our chestnuts are struggling. Then there's the leaf miner moth. The leaf miner moth, which is really devastating yeah. a couple of ours, yeah. yeah. So I'd say those three things, um, bleeding canker, leaf miner, and... The water. The too wet, yeah. Because this was known as the field on the opposite we used to own, and my grandparents sold it in the 1970s to the people there. That used to be known as the well field because this would be a wash with water coming down. So I'm not surprised at the water damage because it has been such a wet spring. Incredibly wet, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to start doing that. And you were telling me you've got a friend. Who wants 2.5 meter branches to go into a, th a stage, a stage in a theater. A set design. A set That's design. The I'm looking for. That's the word, yes. So they're all be going in a kind of a pile and they'll be suspended above where the actor will be or where the stuff will be. Oh, and is this, this is for the arts festival that's happening I in Kilkenny now? I don't think it or? is this one because that's really soon. I don't it think, is, it's I now. It started. <laughs> and she also wants a load of sawdust that she's going to mix with brown paint and latex and make fake mud. Oh, what that'll fun! Be, that'll be going around the base. Oh well, so that is... I'll get more details, but I'll take I'll see, I'll get a few of these branches and see if she if she wants them. I'll take some pictures later. Okay. And I'll get you some more details. Oh, dude, that would be great. So it's a nice use for the wood. It is. It is. Not just well, turned her chip there left in the corner that is actually going off to. Well, uh, my uh, wood chip gets used very well, productively yeah, I know that, for the I know. soil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the few people who do that at the moment. Well, cultural, cultural stuff. It's a cultural <laughs> endeavor. That's even better. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, okay. So they're going to take that down, and the firewood. I suppose. Can you plant the firewood next to the ash so we don't mix them? Because yeah. horse chestnut goes spongy very quickly so it needs to be burned quicker if we're going to use it for house firewood but you're going to wood chip a lot of this for me right adam yep. as much as possible other than the two branches for you your yeah, friend yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because horse chestnut branches are so good and characterful that they can uh do those kind of things she wanted something curly like curly willow curly anyway and uh, uh, we don't, wouldn't work on a lot of those. And if we do, they're quite small. So yeah. this is, I think, we'll give her. Well, you can, you can give, her, give her the choice. You might have to call her and say, come out and look at the curly yeah, horse chestnut yeah. branches. 
Well, I'll get a few photos and get my measuring tape out. 2.5 meters is long as well. It's too long for my van, so. So, well, you she can might, leave them. Do too. <laughs> <laughs> Unless she comes, she's got a polo, so she could drive in and put them on the roof. And there you go, drive, and drive across the drive fields. Across the town, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, Adam, you're still doing it. Horse chestnuts are so difficult to throw the weighted rope on. Well, I have got lots of lovely wood chip now. I can always do with more. This is, some of these are from loads of trees that the tree surgeons brought with them. Because I always say I want wood chip. So, this load came first. This load came second. And that load came third. Hey, kitty. How are you? Brrr. So. Ooh, that's fresh chewed. This has lots of leaves in it. What kind of leaves are these? They're not horse chestnut leaves. They look like, um, birch leaves. Anyway, I love my wood chip. Excellent stuff for the soil. Now, right, kitty, you're not to jump up on me because I only have a t-shirt. I don't have any thick clothing on to deal with your claws. No, don't jump on me. <laughs> the lambs all think I'm moving them and I'm not moving them. You're in a lovely, delicious paddock and you've got access to the orchard. Hey, Mustard Kitty. You're having an apple for dessert this evening. No, guys. You're going to stay there. I'll move you tomorrow. But um, you're not going anywhere because there's plenty of grass still there. And you've got the orchard and the orchard lane. Hey, little bit. Hey, everybody. You guys want to go to the fresh field, huh? We'll go to the fresh field. Come on, ladies. Yeah. Oop, don't do that. You're butting me. Come on. Java! Leave it! Come on, babies! Okay. Oh, I can see the tree is no longer there. I was away all day at my garden course up in Dublin. Well, we're close. Oi, oi, oi! Come back from the road. No. You're not going through that gate. You ready to go through this gate? Very happy sheep. I'm gonna walk over and see what the tree surgeons did. I've been away all day since I saw them this morning. Java and Inca are stuck behind the alpaca. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> they don't wanna go through the thorns. They're so small that the thorns, the thistles. So the alpaca was blocking them they couldn't come. Come on, pups! Out of my dogs! They're carefully 
making their way through all the thistles. Come on! Come on! Good dogs. Come on! There might be tasty little bits. You never know. In amongst the where the vehicles, you can see where the tree surgeon vehicles went. This browning of the leaves that you see here, this is the leaf miner blight that uh, he was talking about this morning. So one of the things that is killing the horse chestnuts. And there you can see a pile of logs where once a tree stood. So I asked them to slice it up in coins so I can split them. So they're all splittable. Look at the rot. It's all rotten. And it was dead. Very dead. It's so sad. So those were dead ash from the ash dieback. <clears throat> and this horse chestnut is the rest of it. Isn't that right, Inka Dink? You coming over on that one? Clever girl. You're such a clever pup. So, they actually didn't do much damage to the woods. And that's where the tree stood. I'm gonna have to get hawthorn and plant hawthorn all through here. Oh, there is a bit of damage right here, this fence. Okay, that is a bit of damage. Okay, yep, there's damage, this fence is no longer livestock safe on the woodland side. I'm gonna have to rectify this fence here, this corner. That is gonna be a problem. It looks like some of it fell right on this fence. So at least this stayed, but this is bollocksed. This is banjaxed. Okay, I'm going to have to redo that. I'll have to make a hole. Oh, get one job done and it creates another. Life. Come on, Ink. Time to go in. Good girl. Oopsie daisy. Are you going to find your way over? Do you want me to carry you? Don't fall. Do you want me to lift you? Ugh, there we go. There you go. And the alpacas are going to come over and explore where all the work was done today. Now, none of you to get out tonight. I'm going to have to fix that fence tomorrow. Very boring. <laughs>